A yearly recap of the greater Philly suburbs, the year of 2023. What happened? I'll break down all the numbers on the latest market research coming up. Hi, thank you so much for watching. My name is Corinne Myers. I am part of the Moore Group with Keller Williams Real Estate, and I'm a realtor here to guide you if you're looking to buy or sell or just curious about Chester County, Pennsylvania, part of the greater Philly region, the Philly suburbs. And each month I do this, I break down what happened in the housing market locally. And I'm gonna do something a little different in this video. If you've been following with our channel, thank you so much for subscribing and keeping up with us. But I'm gonna do a whole yearly recap, just a summary of what happened in 2023 with the housing market. So if you could just do me a quick favor and follow along with our channel, press the like and subscribe button. I'm gonna break down all the numbers for you and this yearly recap for Chester County. It matters to take a look into the local lens of the area that you're interested in for real estate. Well, there's a lot of national headlines, a lot of different things can cause fear or confusion. What exactly is going on? And while nationally it's good to keep up, what really matters is if you're looking to invest in real estate, buy or sell, or just looking for some investment properties, what is going on specifically here in Chester County? Well, here's a little recap for you. Inventory in 2023, it remained low. All throughout the year, we had historically low inventory. Home values though, good news for sellers or people who are thinking about buying, home values appreciated nearly 10% from January of 2023 to December of 2023. So that's if you did nothing to your house you bought a year ago, your home likely has appreciated 10%. So talk about equity. That's a really good feeling for buyers or for people who are thinking about selling. Costs of living remained high, which over the year we know caused a lot of stress for consumers. It just was an expensive year. Groceries, cost of living, everything was high and we definitely felt the pinch and that did lead to less buyer demand and some buyer hesitation throughout the year. Spring of 2023 last year, it was crazy. High demand, lots of competition, crazy offers. We saw that for sure in spring of 2023, but then it kind of tapered off into the summer and fall. We did see things slowing down with buyers and the demand. Interest rates though, they did drop the past couple months, November and December of 2023, interest rates were lower, nearly a whole percent, which makes a difference for your monthly payment. So some good news, some bad news, lots of changes, lots of things happened in 2023 but there was overall demand in this area. Chester County does have high demand for people to live here. And we're seeing that no matter what's going on, we are kind of in a bubble here in Chester County and protected from a lot of the doom and gloom because this area does attract so many people wanting to live here. Okay, let's look at Chester County demand. Specifically, there's a lot of different zip codes here, but where was the highest demand will break down December of 2023 compared to December of 2022. So demand was low and it was limited, but some top zip codes for higher, highest buyer interest in Chester County for the month of December were Exton, Avondale, Phoenixville, Paoli, and Westchester. Looking at numbers and costs for the housing market in the greater Philly region, December of 2022, 411 homes sold. December of 2023, 346 homes sold. That is 100 less homes than November of 2023. Extremely low inventory. 346 homes closed in this county. That's it. So there's not a lot of homes for sale for buyers, meaning things are competitive. And if you're thinking about selling, you're not going to be competing against a ton of other sellers like you would come later this year, maybe the spring market. Looking at numbers for how much homes cost and what they were listed for in the market of Chester County. Original list price for December of 2022 was about $449,000. December of 2023, original list price was about $495,000. So that's good news, about 
$40,000 higher, $45,000 higher than last year. But it's also important to look at not just the original list price, what did homes actually close at? So December of 2022, the median home sales price was $435,000. December of 2023, the median home sales price was $494,000. And that is where appreciation really comes into play. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, homes in January of 2023, they started at an average sales price of $445,000. And I just told you that homes in December of 2023 closed at $494,000. So again, more than 10% appreciation in this year, home values are appreciating in Chester County. And that's if you're not even touching your home, they're just appreciating. So that is a good feeling. If you're moving and it's not your dream home, well, just start building equity. You could start building equity now, and then the equity you build could lead to money you can put down when you sell for your dream home. So just getting in the game is important. Do me a quick favor and press the like and subscribe button so you can follow along with the Moore Group and our YouTube channel here with all the content and resources we have to offer you. Back to some numbers. How long are homes sitting on the market? Well, in the fall of 2023, I saw consistently about a week homes were sitting on the market before accepting an offer. I did see a change for December of 2023. Homes sat on the market for nine days, so sitting a little bit longer. This is good news for buyers. Not, we also saw nine days for December of 2022. So this time of year is slower. And this is the time of year where buyers can kind of sneak in and get an offer possibly under asking price. I've recently written a couple contracts that were accepted for my buyer clients that we did get offers under asking price accepted with contingency. So we have inspections, we have the appraisal contingency, the mortgage contingency. So this is a good time winter if you're thinking about buying, to sneak in and get possibly, dare I say, a good deal on a house. So this is a lot of information. Let's look ahead. Even though we don't have a crystal ball into what the future holds for the real estate market, and it changes all the time, that's why it's important to look at the numbers. What are we expecting? What are us experts expecting for 2024 for the greater Philly suburbs? Well, the first few months of this year, January, February, uh, we are expecting limited competition. That's this time of year. It's a great time, like I said, for buyers to get in a house with contingency under asking price. So it is a good time right now for buyers. We do have limited inventory, so there's not a lot of options. But again, like I said, just get in the game and try to get a house start building equity and then you know you build and then eventually end up in your dream home we are also expecting the spring market to ramp up again we typically see this every year it starts getting crazier more competition more buyers coming out more sellers thinking about putting their house on the market and that typically starts around march we're also expecting home values to continue to increase due to inventory issues at the end of the day again we don't know what this future could hold. But we do know that right now, interest rates have dropped. We have limited inventory, but it could be a good time. There's pros and cons, depending on when you wanna move. It just really, the best time is when it makes sense for you and your family. And it's also extremely important to partner up with a real estate team that you trust, experts that will guide you through the process. And that's what we are here to do for you. If you're looking to sell your home and relocate, or you're looking to upgrade or downsize in this area, or if you're looking to buy and you're not from here and you don't even know where to start in Chester County. There's so many different places, more rural areas, more populated areas, and we are here to guide and help you navigate the crazy real estate market. So 2023, full of some surprises, some things we also kind of saw coming, but we are here for you through 2024 and beyond. So whether now makes sense for you or later on down the year, next year, connect with us and we'll help you. We would love to be a resource and a guide for you. So call, text, email us, make sure you follow along with our channel and like and subscribe. And also check out our website, themoregroupchester.com. We have a ton of great content and information for you there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Corinne Myers with The Moore Group. Would love to help serve you in any way I can. And check out this page for more videos about the Chester County and Greater Philly region.